Hi, I'm Reed Pettengill. I'm here at Durastill in Kansas City, Missouri. This is how you receive your distiller. It is in two boxes and I'm going to show you how to unpackage it. It's in two boxes so it doesn't get damaged in any way. I've never seen one damaged yet. So when you order your distiller, it comes to your home. This is how it comes. Now if you've ordered a 30H or a 30J or a 46C, they're all the same box. They're all the same dimensions. And this is all the only way they're packaged. We'll open a, the outside box and undo it. You raise it up and, and get this flap underneath. And you tip it up. When you get it to this position, you just lift the top box off and you'll see that uh, it's got another box underneath it, just like the top one, except it fits inside of it. You get that off and set that aside. And you'll see on the box arrows that say this side up. Well, that's good and fine while you're shipping it, but while you're undoing it, I always like to flip it so it says the side up is down and I open the bottom. And I do that because it's so well taped inside there and suspended in that box that it's hard to get out from the top. But it's really easy to get out from the bottom, so I'll show you how you do that. You just do it exactly the same way as we did before. And you flip all the sides back down and tip it like that. And then you tip it so it says this side up. And then you lift your lid off and there's your distiller and all your parts right there. And that's the easiest way to get it out of the box. I know I've done hundreds of them. This is the back side of the distiller. This foam protection comes on the distiller that they wrap it with. This is one of the most well packaged things you'll ever get in the mail. So what you do is you quickly take the foam off by cutting the tapes that hold it down to the the packaging mount and you just lift that up over the top and you be careful you don't scratch it in any way with your razor knife. These wing nuts right here you just undo those and all this foam comes off if you just slide that like that and pull that out and the lid's upside down on it, you take the lid out and put it over here and then all the foam comes out. Now this is very important, this next step. You take this wing nut clear off right here. A lot of people forget about this. There's a piece of cardboard down in there holding the float from bouncing around during shipping. And that, that holds it. Now there's also a piece of cardboard in there underneath it and you pull that out or you may have a little fire when you turn your heating element on or you'll have your boiling chamber full of wet paper. So you pull these two things out of the boiling chamber when you unpackage it. When you open it up and pull that off you have a sample of still clean and your warranty and uh, all your manual right there in a package and you save that do not discard that you'll be needing that now you'll notice on the back of this distiller is a plug and this is an automatic distiller so it has a water inlet tube and that's right there it's just like in the back of your refrigerator it's an eighth inch OD line and you uh, you plumb that into your water supply after your pre-filter. There's a package of legs that comes with this. There's also a lid knob. We'll open that up. You put your brace, cross brace on top of your lid and you screw your knob on top of that. Just like that. Very simple. You put your wing nut back on the top. You don't have to have the wing nuts clear off to put the lid on because the lid goes down and it slides sideways and then back and locks. Give it a slight little turn on the lid 
so the lid turns just a little bit before you seal it down and you tighten it down and your lid's got a tight seal on it and it will have for the, the lifetime of your distiller if you do it that way at first. Now, if you're putting this on a tank, you are because this one is an automatic. So if it's a 10 gallon tank, you don't put these legs on it. But if it's a, uh, the 25 gallon tank, you put the legs on it and they just screw onto these bolts on the bottom of your distiller. You can adjust the level with these legs so that it doesn't wobble. You just screw the leg on the bottom in a counterclockwise motion until it's just barely snug is all it takes. Just lift it up and tilt it back. Now you have your distiller out of the box with the legs on it. Okay, this kit comes in your distiller. It has 50 feet of, of plastic line to hook your water up. It has a saddle valve to clamp onto a, a pipe in your home somewhere. And it hooks onto this in, water inlet on the back side. And the fittings are provided in this, in this bag to hook it all up. Also in line is this pre-filter. All the fittings are with that. It filters the water before it goes into the boiling chamber. So you put it somewhere in this line, wherever you want it, where it's easy to access. And this pre-filters your water. Uh, it takes the chlorine out and, and other things that a carbon filter can take out. Okay, there's also a post-filter kit. And you open it up and you pull out the post filter and this is where the post filter goes is in between the distiller and the tank if there was a tank here this little bracket sticks on top of the tank and the post filter sits in the bracket on top of the tank this tube goes from the back the distiller to the to the filter and these two elbows hooked to the filter and one goes into the tank and one goes onto the hose and I'll show you how to put that together. If you take your distiller and gently turn it on its back so it can rest, it'll rest on the, the cord and, and the inlet but this is where you hook your tube up. Now this is where a lot of people get stumped because they don't understand it at first because they've never seen a distiller. But this right here is where the distilled water comes out. So you put your tube hooked to that and it's kind of a tricky thing to get on there because it, it fits tight and you, and you push it over the top of the stainless steel pipe. And it takes a little effort to get on there and you wiggle it around like around in a circle till it goes up on about a half an inch. Half an inch is fine. And then you slide your clamp over the top of your hose. And you tighten that up with a screwdriver right there so it doesn't come off. Okay, you'll notice on your filter there's some, there's some arrows that the point the direction of the flow of the water so we want to hook up the distiller to this side because that's the side the inlet is and you just take a rub a knife and pop the back off and you pick up the the elbow that's got barbs on it on this side the other one hasn't got any barbs on the bottom of it that's so it can fit inside the tank now these two nylon uh, 90s one's a hose hose barb on each end but you'll notice one of them has the barbs clear out to the end the other one has the first two hose barbs ground down and off if you can see that they're not there it's important that you get the one that's smooth on the end on the exit side of the of the filter because it this end goes down in the tank 
So you, just so you don't have to backtrack and undo it again, and uh, this will save you time if you if you watch this and see how it goes in. But the smooth 90 goes to the outside where the out comes on the on the filter, the exit side of the filter. The first thing you do is screw the the uh, 90 into the filter, get it quite tight, and then you just push the filter onto the onto this plastic line and these hose barbs will hold this on there. It doesn't need a, it's no clamp required for that and I won't push it all the way on because we're just demonstrating here. Then the other one just screws into the filter. You got to take the plug out. And this is how you change your filter. You should change your filter about once every six months and normal use. And so you know this is how you do it. And you can always order a new, a new uh, kit for your filter. And that's how it goes. Uh, this, say this was your, your distiller tank, this goes on top of your distiller tank and your filter lays in here like this and this goes down in the hole in your tank and that has a, a peel and stick cover right there and that sticks to your tank so get it adjusted where you want it before you stick it down and then your distiller fits on top of your tank at like such and that's how the filter sets in as you're uh, as you're putting your distiller together all your automatics are, are like this the 30j and the 46c they have the automatic water fill they have uh, an automatic shutoff on, t on a tank. And then you can always upgrade it to a, a four gallon, 10 gallon or 25 gallon tank.